I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber and I hope its solution will help many others. We need to find inverse of y equals to 1 over 2 square root x minus 1 minus 3. Now we always begin with writing domain and range of the given function. So for this function denominator cannot be 0 within the square root it has to be greater than 0. Right? So that means the value of x should be greater than 1. It cannot be 1 also, right? As far as the range is concerned, the y value will be always greater than minus 3. Now, it is important to write like this since when we do inverse, what happens? In inverse, we know x and y value swap. That is to say, it becomes y and x, right? So, domain and range also swaps. So, for inverse of a function, you will find that the domain of the function will be x greater than minus 3 and range will be y greater than 1. So, what you notice here is that they swap. Do you see that part? So, I always like to do this part first so that we should not forget that we are working with restricted domain and range and that is how it should be seen in the final solution. Perfect. Now, let's swap x and y and solve. So, we get x equals to 1 over 2 square root of y minus 1 minus 3. So, we interchanged x and y to find the inverse. So the idea is to find what y is, bringing 3 to the left side, we get x plus 3 equals to 1 over 2 square root of y minus 1. Now we can take y minus 1 to the left side with square root and x plus 3 in the denominator. So we are cross multiplying. And now we can square both sides, correct? So if you square, you get y minus 1 equal to 1 over 4 times x plus 3 whole square, right? So at this stage, we have done square both sides. Okay. So now you can isolate y as 1 over 4 times x plus 3 whole square plus 1. Now that becomes the inverse of the function. So we say inverse of the function is all this 1 over 4 times x plus 3 whole square plus 1. But don't forget to write your domain and range where x is greater than minus 3 and y will be greater than 1. If you restrict that, do you get the idea, right? So if you don't write this, then your solution is incorrect. So I hope these steps are absolutely easy to understand feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you have any suggestions that those are most welcomed thank you and all the best